Good morning everybody. We're just leaving our Camp Buhlhof at Lake Titisi and we are heading towards Heidelberg which is north of the Black Forest. Only about two and a half hours drive away. Um, we woke up to a fine morning. We've had teeming rain last night which was quite nice to go to sleep in the motorhome listening to it on the roof but um, yeah we're on this winding road now winding our way down to the bottom of the hill we've been at the top with beautiful views over the lake and um, yeah now we're heading towards Asfart see that word there Asfart <laughs> we thought it was a town called Asfart when we left Austria <laughs> and we thought that's strange it just keeps on appearing everyone must be going back to Ausfahrt but actually it means exit from oh wow that looks nice in there um, it just means exit <laughs> off, off a motorway basically um, but yeah that was a bit of a joke there so yeah we'll, um, we'll come back just entered a traffic jam on the A5 heading towards our destination. We had a warning on our sat-nav and here it is people. Six lanes wide. So you might as well go make some sandwiches and a coffee honey. I think I might. <laughs> okay then. Good evening everybody, there's Ned, tucked in the back there, I've just walked down the track to the water's edge and we arrived probably a good couple of hours ago and we're here at a camp second camp for the day the first one said that they were open but in fact they were closed when we got there so we just carried on and we're in um, the north west of Germany now and here is a boat one of many coming towards me We've seen freight, ferries come down here, barges, and we've seen passenger boats as well. There you go, and somewhere in that top corner is a beautiful little village that we may go and bike to tomorrow. All going well with the weather and it stays fine. But they've had lots of rain here because it's so wet and muddy underfoot. It's uh, slippy material and um, yeah, you have to be careful where you park your caravan or your motorhome. Oh, I think I can smell my dinner cooking on the barbecue. everybody we're just leaving camp to go for a walk to a bus stop which is going to take us into a quaint little town it's threatening rain but that's okay um, forecast for the next few days is not very good anyway so we're having one more day here one more night and then we shall go forward tomorrow so, but we're surrounded by lovely hillside and vineyards everywhere and there's there's our camp down there 
and way down there in the shot is Ned and there's water either side of us they're all vineyards up there on the hillside and uh, yeah we catch the bus at the other end of this bridge and it's a lovely camping ground just a shame it's very muddy and wet underfoot we're paying 18 euros per night here with use of the axi card Here we go, we're about to catch this barge with all these other people we're going to walk on and some people are going to drive on to get to the other side. Well, we've just hopped off the um, wee barge. Six dollars return for two of us. And the last barge leaves at 6 p.m. tonight. So we can just take our time and look around this quaint wee village. Beautiful. Oh. We are walking up oh, a steep gradient. <laughs> all the way to the top of the hill to a castle so apparently it will take approximately 10 minutes to walk and as you can see I'm huffing and puffing already okay okay we're at the top and this castle was built in 1268 and sadly destroyed by the French in 9, 1689 and this is how it is left today so we'll go and explore wow I'm only halfway up the castle walls and look at that view look at the patchwork of vineyards just stunning And that's where we've just walked up the path up there. Yes, no, no, no. 